Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at System Ninja. you got a lot of choices out there in drive cleaners and they all do things a little bit differently. System Ninja is probably handy for techs or to have on your drive if you need to work on your computer once in a while and I'll show you why. You've got your junk scanner which is the basis of the program. You can quite simply check whatever you want and you can do a nice scan. Now once your scan's done you can determine at that point if you want to delete the files or not. So it does a really good job in finding files and they all do. Why is disk cleaner, C cleaner, they're all a little bit differently uh, set up as to what they're going to find for you but System Ninja does find a lot of really good stuff so let's take a look and see how she does. 91% as you can see it's very very fast which is worth getting out of the way as well. And complete. We have 228 files, 132.4 megs. Now, I don't have CCleaner installed, but I would guess it's in the same neighborhood. So I would consider this conservative enough that I'm not too worried about it. You can tell it not to ask you again. And that's it. Now let's jump over here real quick. If you just want to clean your files, you're done. You have your settings. You saw where it asked me which drive I wanted. You can change that here. Change your language. Check for your updates. Not too much. Another nice feature is that you can add exclusions, whether it's a specific program, a file, or a folder that you don't want scanned. You can exclude it, and you can manage it later and remove them or clear everything. So now let's go a little beyond the drive cleaner. If you're worried about drive cleans, you can see we're 1 minute and 30 seconds in. I've already scanned cleaned and even shown you the options so you're talking about under a minute of your time to run the junk scanner. Let's go to system tools. You have a startup manager as you can see. You have an app uninstaller to remove stuff. I don't think this is a full-blown IOBIT uninstaller type of thing but just an uninstall program so you can select what you want and uninstall etc. Process manager to manage your processes. You can kill your processes. This is great if you're removing malware, having some sort of difficult problem. Great for techs. You have your duplicate finder, which some programs have and some don't, so that's kind of neat too. And then you have the additional tools, which is plugins that are available. As of right now, there's only a handful. It will open this page and take you to the plugin page, as you can see. A registry cleaner. As you know, we don't really recommend registry cleaners much on Major Geeks anymore and haven't for years as a general rule a Windows Service Manager, a File Renamer, and a File Analyzer. So you can check this page every once in a while, see if it has any more cool stuff. Neat little program. Now we've got PC Analysis, which is actually the System Info tool. Uh, I'm not showing the operating system because my Windows key is in there. But as you can see, all right, it just took a minute to scan. There's my processor, disks, motherboard if it can figure it out graphics card. I'm in the VMware, so it's not going to show you the exact graphic card. Your BIOS, versions, release dates, CD drives, physical memory, and as you can see, a whole bunch more right here. So this is really kind of a handy for a tech who wants to do some file cleaning. Or, you know, it's good for the home user too, but techs will really get a kick out of it for somebody who does a lot of work on other people's computers because you've got a conservative junk scanner and the other tools that you possibly need for removing malware viruses etc so the program's totally free like everything on major geeks it's clean click the subscribe button we'd appreciate that thank you for watching and we'll see you next time